I'm Dr. Elliot Piaget, noted child psychologist. Tonight's episode of Dinosaurs examines one of the most terrifying ordeals of child rearing, the terrible twos. As those of you who have small children know, the second year of a child's development is no day at the beach. So be warned. What you are about to see tonight may shock, appall, and scare the daylights out of you. That being said, sit back and relax as baby Sinclair enters the terrible twos. Good mother, you're here. You can help me with the baby's party. Oh, boy. Another kid's birthday party. I guess as a grandma, I'm supposed to get all lathered up over this. And yet, somehow, I'm strangely calm. Would you just look in the drawer there and see if you can find two candles? Two? Why two? What's the baby's second birthday? Run! Everybody run! Mother, where are you going? She's on her way out, Fran. It's a good instinct. Let her go with it. Stay around here and watch everybody. Why are you leaving? You'll miss the party. The second birthday's no cause for a party. Hmm? The baby is entering his terrible twos. Terrible twos? Yes. A strange evil force grips the child transforming him into a deranged, destructive monster, capable of unspeakable horrors. This is a dark, terrible day. And we were going to ask you to jump out of the cake. The terrible twos. That's an old wives' tale. So what do I look like, a debutante? Think back, Fran. You've gone through this twice before, Robbie. And then Charlene. Well, let me see. I remember making little decorative twos for the birthday cakes. And then they were three years old. That's funny. I have no recollection of that entire year. Fran, let me try. Uh, I was sneaking a taste of the icing from Robbie's second birthday cake. And then it was this morning. Did I miss anything, Fran? Oh, gee. That's odd. Neither of us has any recollection of the children being two. It was so traumatic and horrible, you blocked it out. And now it's going to happen again. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Okay, son. Time to blow out the candles. <laughs> Yum. Devil's food.
It's coming, sweetheart. Earl, we can't hold him off much longer. Now, just a few more minutes. These things don't assemble themselves. Do they? For a dollar more, the store would have done it. A dollar? Forget it! Yeah! I'm the birthday boy! Give me presents! You got any ideas? Uh, uh, well, there, there's a thing I made in shop class, but I don't know if I'll appreciate it or not. Presents! Yeah! Uh, yeah, so, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So, uh, sweetheart, <laughs> uh, let's play a, a, a game. Yeah, yeah. Is there a game you like to play? Huh? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Let's play Fetch Snooky. Oh, okay. Um, how do we play? This is Snooky. Oh. <laughs> Fetch him! Uh. This is going to be loads of fun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Charlene. Hey, birthday boy, help is on the way. <laughs> Here you go, bro. A little something I made for you in shop class. Now! I think I lost a finger. Oh, a toy train. Yeah, I worked on it all year. I even went a little forks and spoons for the dining car. <laughs> Wasn't that thoughtful? What? Something! Oh, gee, that. That clear varnish doesn't protect like it's supposed to. <laughs> uh, nope. I'm sorry. I'm not happy! Oh. I'm not happy! I'm not happy! Earl, we need that kitty car now. I'm almost there, friend. Just a few more turns of the screw. You thought of it. Please hurry, Earl. Oh. There's a two-year-old bouncing off the walls out there. Do you think we better do something? Yeah, if this diaper comes loose, it's not gonna be pretty. I know. We'll put on his Blarney birthday video. Oh, oh no. Blarney bites. He's terrible, Mom. I can't imagine a worse role model for a child. Wow! Huh? Darn it! I hate you, you stupid toy! <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I am Blarney. I love you. It does seem to have quieted him down a little. It's interesting. Mm. He strikes a chord with children. <laughs> Something about Blarney elicits the purest feelings of warmth and affection. It's yes, Blarney! <laughs> Well, I gotta say, I'm with him. <laughs> that does it. I am fed up with your bad behavior. You are going to your room. No! I want presents! You are going to your room. There will be no more presents. It's present time! What? No, Earl. He's been <laughs> terrible all day. He doesn't deserve any more presents. Dear friend, you know so little about raising children. <sighs> Son? This present is only for good little boys. You can have it if you promise to be good. I'll be good. I promise. <laughs> it's not right, Earl, bribing a child to behave. And if it works? It's a short-sighted, stopgap, quick-fix solution. You don't have to sell me on it. Oh, oh. Here, son, look. <laughs> Come on. Gee, Dad, you never bribed me with anything neat like that. <clears throat> you were never rotten enough to deserve it. Vroom, 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 vroom. 
Nothing will calm a child faster than playing with some shiny new toy. <laughs> He's happy. All it takes is a little child psychology. What's going on? As I was saying, Fran, there's nothing will come a child faster than some sort of sedative. Got anything to barbitol, Doc? Hold on. I haven't examined him yet. I can't just go around dispensing dangerous drugs willy-nilly. Oh. Well, actually, I can. But I don't choose to in this case. We don't know what to do, Doctor. Uh. I keep getting angry when I know what the baby needs is love and compassion. And where is he now? Inside this box. No. Oh. <laughs> we had to. He chewed through the straps on his car seat. Very resourceful. Uh, may I see the child? Well, hello, little fella. Look at me and say, ah. <laughs> terrible twos. We think so. Oh, I've seen this a hundred times before. A child of two is looking for his parents to give him some concrete boundaries. So I suggest you wall him up inside a cave for a year. Huh? Here, take this to the hardware store. They'll give you some cement and a trowel. Doc, can I get a refill for this if he claws his way out? We are not cementing our baby into a cave. Well, I've read in other countries they're achieving excellent results, locking them in tool sheds. Oh. I'm sorry, Earl, but there must be some other way. <laughs> hey, Fred, Fred, I think I got the answer here. This is Frau Woodhouse, the famous child slash animal trainer. She? Yeah. Open. Good girl. Oh, yeah. She's been working with our baby. This seems a little extreme. Well, come on, Fran. We are at the end of our rope. Then you must get a longer, heavier rope. And don't be afraid to use it. She is talking a lot of sense, Fran. I don't know. The child craves strict discipline. He hungers for the taste of the lash. You must be strong and never surrender. Child rearing is a triumph of the will. Oh. Now we will demonstrate. Remove the muzzle. No. Oh, right. Hang on the leash. Right. <laughs> As I understand it, we have a whole year of this. 
feeling a little logy after eating the entire sofa. <sighs> I just wish Mother were here. She always seems to have an answer for these kind of things. Where is the old witch, anyway? She's not in her room. I sent Robbie and Charlene to look for her. I don't know what else to do. Draw a pentagram on the floor and sacrifice a goat. That should conjure her up. What's the problem? Huh? Oh, let's go. I have a full and active life. Where have you been? The dog track. And make it quick. I'm still alive in the late triple. Mother, you were right about the terrible twos. We need your help. Don't we, Earl? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you need me. Now I'm the belle of the ball. But yesterday, she's old. She's useless. She has nothing to contribute. We wish she was dead. But I meant it with love. Oh, yeah. Please. We're desperate. Yeah. Look, I already told you. He's two. It's terrible. End of story. There's nothing we can do. There's no help for us anywhere. Oh, Earl, I don't oh. think I can go on much longer. Oh, oh stop. Oh. I hate to see you so upset. Look, I tell you what. In times of despair... When I'm lost and searching for answers, there's a book I turn to. The book? That's right, the yellow pages. Over there, hand them here, honey. Thanks. Ah, huh. here's the guy I was thinking of. He's well-versed in all the primitive rituals for expunging evil spirits and battling the forces of ultimate darkness. <laughs> Babysitter? Thank you so much for coming. You want to hear some background on the case? That is of no use to me. The child is two years old. Yes. May heaven have mercy upon this house. Follow me. Mm. Yeah. This baby well. Notice her the brimstone that hangs in the air. Well, we haven't been able to change him in quite a while. <laughs> this child is the ultimate evil. A horror unimaginable. He will twist your soul from the inside out until your mind is shattered and your spirit destroyed. Oh, it really does know our kid. The child had his dinner. Don't want dinner! Give me dessert! I want a million cookies now! Do you have the dinner plate? No. Uh, Quickly! Dear. Two vegetables. Well balanced. Give me dessert! You may have your dessert when you've eaten your dinner. You will start with the rice. No! No rice! Oh. The child's will is strong. Join me now. The power of rice compels you. 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 Oh, toddler, it is not you that is bad. 
but the behavior which is bad. Yea, though you test our patience, we will not yield. We shall set limits not to punish you, but that you may have boundaries. I want to watch TV! What time is the child's bedtime? Eight o'clock. It is too late to watch television. It is your bedtime. No! Don't want to go to sleep! Don't want to, don't want to, don't want to! You will sleep, for I will read from the bedtime book. Not that book! Not that book! I do not like blue eggs and toast. Blue eggs and toast, I hate the most. <clears throat> Would you eat them on a rug? The forces of darkness are strong within him. You seek to destroy all about you. You need a time out. Lock the door, and whatever you might hear, do not, I repeat, do not open that door! You got it! No! Come on, Fred! No! Tracks. This is awful, Earl. We should be in there. He's our baby. Now, now, friend, this guy's a pro. He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, help! Let me out of here! He told us not to open the door. Uh, For the love huh? of everything holy, huh? let me out of here! <laughs> what the? Jeez! Jeez! What happened? He needed a time out! Sorry, uh, gotta run. Just remembered um, another appointment. Uh, another Shut up. I want a pony! Look, I want to go A whole pony. year. A whole year of this. I can't take it. I'm not going to make it to his third birthday. Give me a cookie! No. Want to play horses? I want a drink of water! He's not going to make it to his third birthday. I have a really lame idea. Anything is worth a try, dear. Well... Do we have any more of those birthday candles? Hmm? Okay. Candles lit. Is the icing secure? Check. Charlene, take the high note. Check. And whatever happens, everybody, just keep singing. Happy birthday, dear baby. Come, give me 
heart. You're not two anymore. You're three years Wait. old. Huh? Now blow out your birthday candle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I'm starving. How about some cake? Oh, okay. it's great to have you back, son. say that was inexcusable to suggest that you should deal with the terrible twos by by lying to a child muzzling him like a dog or walling him up inside a cave for a year is reprehensible at best i condemn the producers of dinosaurs for their irresponsibility and i demand that they explain themselves i await their rebuttal <laughs> Oh, my God.